light wind of springtime seemed to contrast the inner workings of my brain. I was moving on autopilot back towards my home. I felt as if I'd seen something that wasn't meant to be seen. As if the curtain had lifted on reality and exposed the man upstairs. Like I just found out Santa wasn't real. I couldn't yet put into words what I now understood. But something had changed inside of me. Pulsating through my veins was the energetic charge of irrevocable loss all for a woman I didn't know. This feeling wasn't pure. It was cut with something I couldn't put my finger on at the time. I believe now that it was a profound sense that I had discovered something. Only problem was this something wasn't meant to be seen. In that moment, I was a child finding a magazine meant only for an adult's eyes. I was both intrigued and repulsed, confused by the images spinning inside my head. When I arrived home, tired, confused, and out of breath, I tossed my things on the floor and made my way to the couch. My mother still wasn't home yet. I wasn't surprised. She often worked late right before her company released a new product. My mother, a 49-year-old, short, red-headed woman, was an information systems programmer analyst for Pacific Chime, the West Coast's leading telecommunications provider. Her job, ironically located on the East Coast, worked her harder in one year than most jobs work people in a decade. This job paid well. Without it, my sister and I would have never gotten through college. I left school debt-free thanks to the back-breaking mental labor of my mother. You have mail. There was a moment of apathy where I almost didn't click the link. 
last thing he sent me that was allegedly scary turned out to be a picture of two elephants locked in the throes of passion. I sighed and clicked the link. The file was 2.9 megabytes. In the dark room, the monitor was hurting my eyes. I rubbed them and waited for the file to load. I thought of all the things it could be. More animal porn, human porn, cartoon porn. You can never really guess with this guy. But it was most certainly going to be pornographic. Maybe a girl from my high school was now into adult videos and was doing some particularly unladylike things. While the video loaded, I thought of all the girls I had gone to school with who might be involved in such activities. All the girls that came to mind neither had the looks nor the motivation to seek out an adult filmmaker. I gave up. I just have to wait for it to finish downloading. When the file had finished downloading, I waited with fading patience for my computer to open in quick time. Finally, it was loaded. So, is this what a college graduate does? Spend hundreds of thousands of his mother's hard-earned money to lounge around all day? It's already 2 p.m. Don't you think you should be getting out of bed? Just, uh, can you keep it down, please? I had a rough night. Can't get that video out of my head. Alex, can I ask you a serious question? <sighs> Do you have to? It's too early for serious questions. That doesn't work with me. I'm not your mommy. I don't let you get away with letting things slide. Okay, fine. What is it then? Why didn't you go back and look for her after she vanished from the elevator? Why did you run straight home? If you had seen her being pulled out of the elevator, you'd have known she was gone for good, too. And besides, it's... You're forgetting that I was there. I saw it, too, and I get it. You're scared, right? So you ran home. I understand. But maybe when you've busted up some courage, you can put on your big boy pants and see if you can find her. Yeah, maybe. Now get yourself out of bed. Take a shower. You smell terrible. I knew it was right. I couldn't let myself live with the guilt of not going back to look for her. Why did I run away? Why did I just stand there and let her get pulled into... What? But what exactly had she been pulled into? Just the thought of going back to the factory made my stomach tighten. But if I didn't go back, I knew I'd never be able to live with myself. I think there was a part of me that didn't believe what my eyes had seen. That I was missing something. Some vital piece of information that slipped my mind. The whole thing could be explained logically. We are inside a room. We can tell from the decorations on the wall that it is a female's room. 
The unremarkable but adequate lighting reveals to us that there is someone in the room. Although who is not yet clear to us or the others in the room. The expressionless decor and bedding show uninteresting taste. Although there are the staples of a bedroom, there is something inhuman about the layout and decorations. We get the impression that the room is a parody of a human woman's room. With a quick survey of the interior, our eyes come to rest on a figure unconsciously placed inside the bed. We know from her plastic finish that she is both unconscious from a lack of humanity inside of her vessel and unconscious from a lack of power going to her circuits. The low electric hum of the room detracts from the music playing at a low level from a record player in the corner of the room. As we observe the motionless figure, we gradually come to sense that she isn't well, that she is broken in some way. We feel compelled to refer to the figure in the bed as a woman. However, her exposed circuitry holds our words. We bring the camera closer to her face and ponder what she is. Her face is lined with the most profound solemnance. We confer with each other and come to an agreement. Okay, so let's review. You met a girl in an old factory and she vanishes within an hour of you meeting her. Now, with a new sense of bravery, you're running off to the last location you saw her to try and track her down. Exactly. Sounds good to me. I like this Alex with a sense of purpose. Now, if only you could get out of bed before 2 p.m. I've had this song stuck in my head. Yeah. It just won't go, 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 go away. Did you ever get that? I think they call it an earworm or whatever. But this isn't really the catsy tea kind of song. This is that awe sort of thing. It's pretty good, but some of the lyrics are a bit weird. How do they go again? I think you have the wrong number. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 